So we're gonna start today's video with uh, new coilovers for my car because the, the ones on there are completely toast and it's just dangerous to drive I think because there are a lot of noises coming from the drivetrain and from the suspension that aren't supposed to be there. So we are gonna change it with a new set of Pine coilovers thanks to CBS for delivering them. So we are gonna install a new set Time coilovers. Yeah! Some new coilovers for the S13. Very long overdue. <laughs> it's, it's really bad, the coilovers on there, I don't know what's going on. But the ride is really stiff and it bounces all over the place and they are at the softest setting available. And it just makes some really weird rattling and clunking noise. So we are going to change them with fresh, brand new Dyne coilovers. And in the future I am going to do the EDFC conversion. So I got a little control box inside that I can uh, change the hardness for the coilovers themselves. And uh, you can install G sensors. So if you are on track and if you go around a corner real fast, the system can uh, decide itself which coilover needs to be stiffer and which one needs to be softer for the best driving experience. So without further ado, let's just install them on the Nissan. So before we can start with uh, putting the car up in the air and changing the coilovers, we need to know the ride height that it's currently sitting at because we want to keep the same height because I know that with this height I'm not touching the DCT or the cooler or the exhaust anywhere and I uh, don't want to go lower and I definitely don't want to go any higher because that would suck. So, <laughs> I'm gonna measure every corner so that we can put it at the same uh, ride height with the new coilovers. So I'm just gonna measure it from the edge of the rim to the bottom of the fender. And I know these are custom fenders, so they're probably not exactly the same. I already measured before filming and I measured from the side mirror to the uh, ground. And it is half a centimeter higher uh, when measuring the side mirrors. And it's also half a centimeter higher on the fender on that side so that tells me that the fenders are actually exactly the same so I did a good job customizing them, welding them and I also measured the back already and that's also half a centimeter higher on the left and I did that with the last coilover set because when I'm driving myself and most of the time I'm driving myself then I uh, count for the half a centimeter so then it actually equals out and it's the same ride height on all four wheels. So now that we measured it car can go up in the air and we can disconnect some stuff and we can install some stuff. Versus new and I'm gonna install them how they are and then we're gonna lower the car see how low it is then we can adjust the <laughs> Then we can adjust the ride height 
to the ride height that we measured before. So let's install all the four new ones and then measure the ride height and adjust if needed. What are we doing? We are adjusting the camber right now because the camber depends on the angle of the uh, shock itself because it's a McPherson. So we need to set it and the old ones were set to uh, full max because I got such wide wheels and I didn't wide body the wide body enough. So yeah, we need to adjust it and we're gonna run max camber because we are a hot boy with no fitment at all. God oh. damn it! That was pretty tight. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Oh. Okay, no. <laughs> okay, no. So the coilovers are installed, the new ones, and the wheels are on. So now it's time to lower the car, let the uh, coilovers settle a little bit because they always need to settle. It's not uh, at driving right height if you just lower it. So you, you need to wait and officially you need to drive it around a little bit and shake it. So we're just gonna lower it. I'm gonna jump on the thresholds and then it should be good after a few minutes that we can measure it. And then after measuring, we can set it to the correct right height. I did shake the car a little bit, but I don't think that the coilovers are set at the right height from factory. Because this side is half a centimeter lower than before. So I need to raise this side half a centimeter. But then if we go to this side, it's higher. So I need to raise half a centimeter on that side and lower a full centimeter on this side. But the rear is even worse. I need to lower it four centimeters on this side and five on this side. Look how high that is. That's insane. So let's get the car back up in the air, take the wheels off and adjust these fresh new coilovers. It's gonna be so easy. <laughs> on the ground and I think that the ride height is fine as it is it is a little bit higher in the front and half a centimeter higher in the rear because we are going to England uh, between the 14th and the 22nd of October so uh, expect some really cool content but I put it a little bit higher in uh, the back so it accounts for the weight of stuff we are gonna bring to England so I think Right height is fine like this. If it's not, I can just easily change it later with just a jack on the floor and turn the coil. Now I just wanna change my gas pedal because I think something weird is going on with that one. 
And that has caused a little issue with the car, the three last meets that we went to. The car, uh, on just a random moment while driving, thought I was giving it 12% of throttle. While I wasn't. That's a bit sketch. Because the car wanted to move forward and I wanted to stop. We had a little fight and eventually we made up. But still I need to change the gas pedal. So that's what I'm going to do now. So here we have the old pedal and here we have the new pedal and I hope this fixes the issue and then in the future I can use that one as a clutch pedal so I can do clutch kicks and other fun stuff. New pedal is installed and it seems to be fixed. I can see on my Android radio on the MaxiCU app that when I don't touch the pedal at all it says zero percentage pedal position and if I press it all the way it says 99.8% uh, so that's perfect. That's what we want and the last pedal if I didn't touch it at all it was just bouncing between 4 and 0 0.5 and while driving sometimes up to 12. And that's a bit scary so I am really glad that the 180 bucks pedal <sighs> works. That's the positive side, try to look at the positive side. So the pedal works and it should be less sketchy now I hope that the coilovers also feel different and make the car drive way better. And the best way to test that out is go to a car meet. So, Amber and I are getting ready and we're going to take the Nissan to an impromptu car meet. Well, the car meet wasn't impromptu, but we weren't supposed to go. And now I am actually done a bit early, so let's go to the car meet. The new coilovers make a ton of difference. The car drives so freaking smooth now. It just it feels like a whole different car. Also, the gas pedal, I can feel that it's different. So I think we need to do a pull. We 
had a great time, now it's time to enjoy the drive back home. It's another day, we are back in the lit shop and I'm so happy that the coilovers make the car feel way better and also the gas pedal that helped me stop at a stoplight and not give a throttle and almost kill me. So <laughs> it is safer but there's still one thing left to do, one thing left to change because the hub on there with the steering wheel can turn freely if I force it enough. If I am on lock and I keep on turning the wheel the wheel keeps on turning without turning the wheels. That makes any sense. So I need to change the hub because I don't think this one is blind and the other one is the new one that I got. So I need to put that one on so it doesn't turn freely and it's way safer to drive. And while I'm doing that, Amber is gonna adjust the valve uh, lash again because it's just a little bit too tight. So she's gonna change that and I'm gonna change the hub on my Nissan. So to get the hub off, I need to get this uh, part of my quick release off. So that's just some Allen bolts. And when that's out, you got the central nut in there. And if I loosen that, I can take the whole hub off and install the new one. I don't know who put this death trap together, but the hub doesn't have any splines that hook on to the steering shaft. And there were three copper rings between the nut and the hub. So it was held on by pressure, just by force, and that's why I could turn it freely. So now I do have a hub with splines that should slip on there, and then it cannot slip when on full lock. So this is the new hub, and this one has the splines that should fit on there. And I got the two pins so that my indicator reset works, because you got two pins on the back here that sit like that. And then if you put your blinker on and you steer left, you can push this little tab from this side so that's the pin that sits here you're gonna steer goes like that and then when you go back you reset the switch so then uh, that should work finally because that didn't work and I always forget my indicator because the car is too loud and I don't hear it so I am really happy that this uh, is equipped with the pins to reset it so let's see if it slips on there it should And slips on perfectly so now i just need to put the nut on there put the steering wheel on there and then it's done the base from the quick release is uh, back on there and now i'm just going to change out the bolts that i got with the wait where are that i got with the hub because those look way better than my rusted black ones because those aren't coated so because of the moisture in the car they rust change those out that's done and then it should be good and done that looks way better Valve flash is adjusted again and Amber is about to close up the engine with uh, the valve cover and I am about to close the video because we made the Nissan safer, did everything I wanted to do. The starlet is done and we just had a great weekend. We had a lot of fun, the meet was a lot of fun. I won a ref battle against an Audi R8 so that's cool. I think all in all it was a cool video. If you think so too make sure to like and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys at the next one. What the fuck you doing? Yay! 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 And Amber is about. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> We're back.